Hi right, everyone, this is Kirk with Kirk's Motor Rod Shop in Crystal Lake, Illinois. I wanted to bring you a very quick video. This is going to be on this 2008 RT. And this is, video is meant for those of you out there who have one of these bikes that's new to you and you want to know how to get these plastics off of the bike so you can do some of your own maintenance on it. So the, the plastics come off fairly easy, but a lot of you guys are visual just like I am and it helps to watch somebody else do it. If you appreciate these videos be sure to subscribe. Uh, there's videos on a lot of different bikes. This is just one of the many. So you're going to need to remove your seat. That's going to be the first thing you do is, is you pull off your seat and expose some of these screws here and I'll change camera angles and show you what's going on here. I apologize for some of the noise that's going on in the background. There's a fan running back there. It's a little noisy, but you should be able to still hear me. So, I've already removed the other side of this bike, so just kind of ignore that. But I, it's going to be exactly the same on both sides of the bike, or 90% the same. There's just a few different things that you have to do on the right side of the bike in order to deal with that uh, little documents box that's on there. You're going to be able to figure that out though, especially if you start over on this side, you're going to know just what to look for. So you've got this, this center piece right here, this, uh, this piece here. You might have something that uh, grabs onto a tank bag, but usually you have something right here. you got four screws holding this on. you got one here, here, and then there's two up in the front. You can remove that, so once you pull those screws out, those are T25s, pull that off and set that aside. And you're going to expose a lot of the other screws that you have to uh, come across here. So you, you can see there's going to be a, a screw right here, one here. Nope, can't really see it on the on the video, but there. And there's one up in the front here that's that's pointing like in this direction. You're going to see that one. You're also you're going to need to get this this front panel off here. You got two screws that are right up underneath here. You could pull them both out. You really only need to pull one out, but if you pull both out, it's not a big deal. So we'll pull some of these off. And that's gonna that's gonna loosen up this little part right here. There's a screw right up here in the right up in the front. I'm gonna pull that one off. You can note most of these screws on this particular bike are, well, most of them are the same size. They're either these medium length ones or there's some that are extra long which are down at the bottom. Go ahead and pull that off. This off. You can just, there's no real order to pulling these off as long as you get them out. So as you can see, I was like, kind of no rhyme or reason what I'm what I'm going after. Okay, this this is almost loose enough now. Now we need to go up in the front, and we're gonna pull off some screws up there. So right up in the front here, you've got two screws that you can see. They're pretty easy to see. One of them you can get with your drill gun if you have one of these. The other one you're gonna need to have uh, either a very short one or a ratchet mechanism because you're dealing with a fork it's going to get in the way. So we're going to pull this one off here. Okay. I'll bring it back over to the side. Okay, now you're going to be able to pull this off and you'll have to there's, there's going to be a little push tab right there and you'll have to disconnect your uh, your wire if you if you want to fully remove it. There we go. Okay, the next thing that we are going to do here is remove this entire panel. So the silver part of the panel and this blue part of the panel are connected together. You don't have to do anything to get those apart. I've already taken off some of the screws towards the back. Already took off these screws here. Now we need to pull off these three that are right here.
Now right up in front of the engine here, there's there's two screws here. Some of the models have they might look a little different. There might be a you know a, a continual piece that comes back here, but this one just pull these screws out. These are these are a little bit thicker and bigger. You can't really get these messed up, so don't worry about that. Now on this particular model, there's a little a, a twist tab right here. I'm gonna twist that and just lift it up. And when you when you go to pull off the side panel, if you feel anything really hanging up, just stop. Okay, don't don't break anything. Try not to rip it off of there and you know wind up snapping tabs or stripping things out. Once you get most of the screws out though, this whole unit is just gonna come off of here. Okay, I, I think I got them all off. And that's it, right there. The whole thing just comes off as one unit. It's a very large unit, so don't damage it. So again, that's just a quick video on how to get the side panels off the bike. Now you can maintenance uh, the other parts. You can get to your, your fuel pump if you need to. Uh, you can get to the air cleaner that's on the other side or the air filter. Uh, it just makes it a lot easier to work on if you don't have these panels on. So, guys, I hope you got something out of that. And thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe. And uh, check out the ways right down in the description below on how to support the work that I do here. Thanks a lot. See you on the next one.